Welcome to Nankusei. Just how did this mecca of conservation begin? It all started in 2003 with the unnecessary death of a sand baby. Despite the best efforts of Dr. Rudy and Marlies van Furen, a young life was lost due to the ostracism Namibia's sand community faces. Together with longtime friends, Chris Hunus and Dr. Janis Brunt, they set out to change the undervalued, exploited lives of the sand. Fate intervened and their paths crossed with that of Dutch philanthropist Jan Verberg, who agreed to fund a healthcare facility for the sand community of Epicura. This became the Lifeline Clinic. Further financial support from Mr. Verberg saw the establishment of Nankusei Lodge and the subsequent creation of employment, specifically for the poverty-stricken San community. One of Namibia's only charity lodges, this generates funds for Nankusei's many humanitarian projects. The need for education led to the Clever Cup School being established in 2009. This school provides a foundation for the educational future of Nankusei's children, students being encouraged and supported throughout their school careers. April 2019 saw the official opening of the Nankusei Chapel, generously funded by Jan and Tinika Verberg. This beautiful space is so much more than a wedding and conference venue. Used for a variety of craft workshops, it allows valuable skills to be learned, with additional income from the sale of the handmade creations, further supporting the foundation. Having grown up on a farm and wildlife sanctuary, Marlies's love for conservation and animals was born at a young age, and she has achieved global recognition as one of Namibia's most well-known conservationists. Needing a place where she could do what she does best, caring for injured, orphaned, or human habituated animals, the Nankuse Wildlife Sanctuary was born in September 2007. A place where animals are provided with a second chance, and released back into the wild whenever possible. The core of our work at Nankusei is the mitigation of human wildlife conflict and we do not limit ourselves to a specific species. Since 2008 we have been formulating innovative ideas on how to alleviate the battle between man and wild in Namibia. Full-time biologists are employed at Nankusei, researching different projects across Namibia and providing evidence that helps us make educated conservation decisions. Our groundbreaking work with farmers has made a massive impact on lessening the conflict between man and carnivore. The GPS collaring and releasing of predators, perceived problem animals caught by farmers, has prevented the unnecessary killing of many of Namibia's carnivores. Dubbed rapid response, years of innovative action has reduced the indiscriminate killing of captured carnivores on commercial farmland by 80%. The positive reaction to the work of our rapid response unit and strides made in human wildlife conflict mitigation prompted us to spread across Namibia thereby taking the Nankusei message and vision even further afield. In Namibia's northeast lies our Mangeti research project, addressing conflict with elephants and African wild dogs. Our biologists running the project use the latest technology and methods in tracking these elusive animals. Their numbers, behaviors, and movement patterns are monitored. The collection of this crucial data allowing the team to refine conflict mitigation techniques. The southern reaches of Namibia are home to two distinct Nankusei properties. Situated in the ancient dunes of the Namib, 
Kanan Desert Retreat serves as a research site for the elusive and often misunderstood spotted hyena. And coupled to the conservation strides made here are breathtaking landscapes and incredible sunsets, emphasizing the out-of-this-world nature of Kanan and making it the ultimate getaway. It's the perfect picture of tourism supporting conservation. Not to be outdone, Noiros Wine and Wildlife Estate serves as one of the driest vineyards in the world. Underwater springs provide much needed sustenance to this oasis, producing quality wines and spirits. All handmade, truly organic and authentically Namibian. The proceeds from sales get filtered back into conservation of landscapes, animals and cultures. In 2016, the property bordering the Nankuse Reserve was up for sale. The owner considering selling this unspoiled land to property developers. Arno Zania, owner of the Zania Hotel Group, bought the property, preventing devastation and subsequently laying down a foundation for an unprecedented project. The reserve provides a secure environment where injured and orphaned wildlife, after rehabilitation, can be returned to the wild. Hidden on the reserve is the Shiloh Wildlife Sanctuary. Its purpose is to provide an expertly equipped facility for the care and rehabilitation of orphaned or injured rhinos and elephants in Namibia. Patrolling and protecting the reserve is our anti-poaching unit. Trained in counter-poaching operations and tactics, as well as exceptional marksmanship, nothing gets past this unit unnoticed. The Nankuse Forest Conservation Revegetation Project is taking Nankuse's current landscape conservation efforts to a whole new level. The ultimate goal of this project is to conserve Namibia's native forests and rehabilitate degraded areas where indigenous forests once prospered. In November 2016, the project was accepted into the Queen's Commonwealth Canopy at a ceremony hosted by Her Majesty the Queen of England and Sir David Attenborough. Nankuse's projects are supported in three ways. Donations, funding, and income from ecotourism. Indeed, tourism generates the largest portion of our income, and any visit to Nankuse contributes to a cause so much bigger than can ever be perceived. Any support makes a world of difference, and donors can decide how their donation should benefit the foundation. Sanctuary animals, Carnival Research, the Clever Cup School, the Lifeline Clinic, and so much more. Why not sponsor a child or a clinic patient? Sponsorship of GPS collars and camera traps is also possible, and the symbolic adoption of a sanctuary animal makes the perfect gift. Nankose is not just a place. It's a home where Marlise and her team live their calling and passion. Caring for animals that would otherwise no longer be alive. It's an organization that, at its core, strives for the conservation of Namibia's wildlife, landscapes, and the ancient sand culture. It's about changing the face of conservation and about true, sustainable, and responsible ecotourism. It's about creating conservation ambassadors and instilling the spirit of Nankuse in all who enter our world.